uh, the the other news that came out yesterday was this deal that WWE and USA made for SmackDown, which takes it off of Fox. And they're going a little backward here by taking SmackDown off of broadcast, where even the NFL is pushing their product more to uh, they have a with, with Monday Night Football. They they're like we're pushing this thing to ABC because of the writer strike and the actor strike. Um, but WWE is who was kind of ahead of the game with this push to broadcast. Now they're taking the show back. Well, to it's, cable. It's, 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 it's a money thing. Fox wasn't going to go up in money. I mean, that was the thing. That's why it was kind of acknowledged that Fox wasn't going to keep it because they, you know, um, you know, like they, I mean, it was winning the night almost every week and it's doing very well right now. You know, they had the big rebound this year, but they just didn't, you know, they did lose money on the product and they didn't feel like, um, they just didn't feel like it was worth it. So, um, they didn't really bid aggressively for it. So it was going to go somewhere else. USA, of course, wants it. It's, um, it's interesting though, you know, again, like what are they going to do? Because it's like for USA network and they're going to, they're, they're averaging, I believe it's 287 million a year, um, for this thing. Um, if they put it on Friday night, um, they're on, on USA, they're going to be very disappointed or I don't say disappointed, but it's not going to do what they think. I don't Well, Maybe they do know, but it's not going to do anything close to what it did on Fox. Okay. It, it just won't. I mean, we've seen what it with FS1. We have the FS1 numbers. We have the FS1 numbers. So we know the general thing. And, and yes, USA is a more popular channel, but they're both in the same number of homes. You know, um, FS1 is actually in more homes than TBS and TNT right now. But, um, but slightly, it's the, all the numbers are within, you know, 2% of each other. But, um, you know, so it's, you know, you go in there. I mean, um, on Friday, it easily, um, if they lose, like, again, they're hot right now. If they lose being hot going on Friday on USA, they could do worse than AEW does on Wednesday. And I don't think they want that to happen. Um I think, and even and even throughout the AEW and all that, if you're paying 287 million a year for this program, you don't want to put it on a Friday or a Saturday night. That's my thought because it's like that's just stupid, you know. So what day are they going to put it on? They're going to go, you know. And again, there's not a lot of options. Do they go to Wednesday? You know, I mean, it's 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 a really it's just a really interesting chess game that's going to be going on. Um, next year, really. Do you but do you spend 287 million? to split or to take a chunk out of your audience just to hurt the other product. Like what you you USA is not in the game to eliminate AEW. That's WWE's game. Like, wouldn't yeah. you, you'd want to maximize viewership. They could argue. This could be the argument that if we get rid of AEW or beat them down enough, then our product gets bigger and we will not lose head to head on Wednesday, which I believe we saw that we, lesson already though. Yeah, I believe. Yeah. But that was the next T I believe if you put SmackDown on Wednesday night against a W dynamite, that it will hurt a W dynamite pretty significantly and SmackDown will win every week. I could be wrong, but that's my belief. And in the long run, you know, you, if we beat them down enough, then we have exclusivity on the wrestling genre, which in the long run makes, you know, plays off better for all of us. You could make that argument. Um, but yeah, for, for, if I'm paying 287 million a year, um, I would really want to put that thing on uh, Tuesday or Thursday, but they got a show on Tuesday. Um, but I would say Tuesday or Thursday is the night you're going to maximize your audience. Um, and, and again, when you're paying that much money, you want to maximize your audience. You know, you don't want to be stupid. Like, like NBC was and put Young Rock against SmackDown, which was <laughs> one of the stupidest bits of programming that we all knew was going to happen, and and it happened, and and we were all proven right. What about Thursday, which is currently the only night that WWE or AEW content is not on? Absolutely, television. yeah. I think I think Tuesday or Thursday is the right night for for SmackDown. For, now, for, be for maximum audience. You know what'd be interesting is is because they don't do pay per views anymore on Sundays, there except for WrestleMania week. I mean, usually it's really pretty much Saturdays now is the idea of maybe moving to Sunday because Sunday's a big TV night. Of course, Sunday night football, you know, you're going to get destroyed. Um, and there's a lot of, you know, a lot of highly rated TV shows on Sunday. But um, that's an interesting night as well. But I think Tuesday or Thursday are the best nights for SmackDown. But the other interesting thing 
that has come out is number one, we don't know where Raw and NXT are going to wind up and, yep. and, or, and what day they'll wind up. But there absolutely is talk of Raw moving from Monday, probably because of, you know, getting destroyed by football so far this year. A um, lot of fans are going to be sad if that happens, though. It's it's an institution, and I think that I think that if they move from Monday, I think that they go down because of the institution of Monday. Mm -hmm. um, I could be wrong, but again, okay, if you move from Monday, what day do you go? If you go Wednesday, you're going to split the audience, um, but it will hurt AEW badly, and that could be their goal. Um, if you go like again, you got to you got to have essentially um, between if you're smart, you got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. OK, those are your four days. And you really have to have TV on three of those four days to maximize your interest. Um, but like if, if with Raw, if I think if Raw goes to a station other than USA, I think that it, I think it's going to go down an audience. I think if it goes to streaming. You know what? Um, it's going to go way down an audience. Yeah, maybe 70 percent, maybe less. But the NFL did 13 and a half million on uh, this week, right? 13 million, something like that on, on Amazon. And um, you know, they had uh, 22 million on Monday, but that was two games. Um, but, um, you know, on other nights of the week, you know, on Sunday, what did they get? 25 million it's on Sundays? I haven't even looked at the NFL Sunday numbers. I just know they're so through the roof that it doesn't, and it doesn't relate to wrestling. But, but I do know that the Thursday numbers are way down from when they were on television, you know. So the same would happen with, with, um, you know, the same would happen with, uh, with, with Raw if it moved to uh, streaming. At least at first. I mean, but if you think about what games go on Thursday, it is like the, you know, probably the third or fourth or fifth most important game of the week, generally. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, that would be like, you know, you're putting NXT on streaming because it's the third most important show. So you don't want to put your top show because your your top show, uh, you want if you're going to do all your angles on there, you want the most eyeballs unless you're just of getting course. ungodly money. But even if you do get ungodly money, what, what, what could happen the next time the rights come up is the people use those analytics and go, they you're gave you popular. ungodly money and your stuff actually went down and that would, could and, be and will go down future. And, and it will go down. Plus, you know, do you want to take that risk that maybe being there will lower your, your house show numbers and things like that? Because the key with WWE feeling hot is because people look at those, you know, see that they're packing the shows. If they go back to five, 6,000, you know, at these shows, um, you know, the whole perception of WWE changes. Yeah. So Nick Khan had promised 1.5 X and they delivered 1.4 for SmackDown. Yes. So yeah. it's quite possible that raw could make up for that. It could. To, to, you know, it, it almost it almost has to for him, don't you think? He's yeah. not looking good today in that sense. I mean, in the sense that the more I mean the market reacted the way it did because they were told one thing and something else happened that was a lot lower. And they, you know, I, I they were at 83 the last time I checked, which is down from over a hundred in two days. Um, you know, and Vince lost uh a lot, you know, I think I, I think the last time I the last time I calculated was 476 million in two days, but it's all paper money. It doesn't matter. And, you know, yeah. Vince is filthy rich and still, you know, and 476 million. I mean, it's still a lot, but it's paper money. And the, and the market probably overcorrected, you know, and I mean, or over, you know, overdid it there. And it'll probably it's probably not the worst time. It'll probably go back. But still, you know, like when you look at, um, you know, Endeavor, you know, from their standpoint, they went in there with this 21.4 billion for the combined of UFC and WWE. And right now we're at, you know, in the 14s. So they're not looking good either. So Ricky Starks comes out for a promo. God, this was the weirdest segment I have seen in I don't even know how long. Ricky Starks last week cheated to win the Owen Hart Cup. So this man comes out and he is cheered. He talked about how much money he had his expensive shoes, his expensive bag. Mm -hmm. He's rich, you see. So to review, if you cut a promo saying that you have expensive things like, oh, I don't know, a Tesla or a watch, and you only eat the finest steaks in the finest steakhouses, people might not like you. I have no idea what you're talking about. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? 
If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.